Hi, welcome back to Mind Control. Success is like a quiet daily set of tasks. Real, real small. It's like that quiet walk to the gym. Some empty ass gym late at night. Over and over and over. Or as I sit there studying other great people and then comparing it with what I'm doing and looking at it. Over and over and over. Doing 20 minutes of quiet meditation a day. Over and over and over. Making the choice to eat foods that enhance my brain neurotransmitters. Over and over and over. It's a very quiet process where you're just drawing your state from within yourself, doing these like simple little tasks, but finding love in those simple little tasks. It's not this big rah-rah speech where you do this one thing and something big happens. When we look at the leading sales professions of the world, when we look at the best business people, we say she's gifted, she's smarter than me, she just somehow knows more than me, she's got a better education, she had an easier background, she got lucky. You've heard the cliche because it's true. The harder I work, the luckier I get. I'm an ordinary person, but I focused on my craft. I had a burning desire to be excellent. I love what I do. Sharing in my books and speaking is my oxygen, it's my DNA. Four in the morning I get up and I'm working on my craft because I love it. I love it. The process is just as important as the actual prize because the process is going to make you the deeper the process, the greater the reward. A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he putting in work. Because he loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. The nine to five person, they make a sale and they're excited. When you get to my level and you get one thing, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level. A true hunter hunt. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. I understand it is in the process that you get better. It's in the process that don't nobody know your name and five years later, you're one of the best in the world. Why? The process. I don't get up at three o'clock in the morning because I'm broke. Then why do you get up at three o'clock in the morning? Because I ain't finished yet. We always invest today, sacrifice today for tomorrow's betterment. But if we don't know what that betterment is, the want factor, what we're really doing it for, we can't win this war, guys. If you had six months to live, what would you do differently with your life? What would you do differently? If your life is not what you want it to be, if you're not living the way that you want to live, if you're not experiencing what you want to experience, if it's not giving you what you want, you've got to ask yourself, what have I sold my soul? A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he couldn't even work. A real man, when coach ain't even watching, he's studying film on his own. Cause he's, he loves the process. Everybody wanna be a beast. Everybody got a lion. Tattoos are lions. Most of y'all think that a lion is who he is because of how ferocious he is when he catch that gazelle, or when he catch that zebra. If a lion see an animal that's wounded, or a real hunter see an animal that's wounded, what do they do? They don't kill him. Why don't they kill him? He already heard. And they beast. A part of being a beast just ain't eating a gazelle. A part of being a beast is the hunts. It's the hunt that they're excited about. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. You're not in love with the process. Well, they say when people take the courage to journey into the center of their fear, they find nothing. It is only many layers of fear being afraid of itself. Put in 120% every time, or you don't put in nothing. Because listen to me very close. Today, this opportunity you have, it might not be here next year. 
It might not be here the year after next. It might not be here the year after that. This is the only moment you got, and you better take advantage of this particular moment. You've hit the wall someplace, you've looked in the mirror too many times and haven't smiled. You want to change the situation, move from where you are. The journey is not easy. Before you start that journey, mentally, you must fuel yourself with the right reasons, the right fuel to sustain the entire journey. Everyone's hot off the start. It does not take talent. You don't have to be talented. Right? You don't have to be gifted. You don't have to be the quickest, the strongest. You don't have to be the most intelligent to get to where I am. That's what you got to do. You just got to grind, though. You grind. You might come from privilege. Your daddy might hook you up with a car. He might know people. He might be able to get you a job. But you will not outwork me. You better grow up and get to the point as a man that if you ever get beat, you better get beat by somebody that's just that's just purely more talented than you are. You better not ever get beat by somebody because you beat yourself. This thing called life, some people call it a marathon. I say it's a process. Life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. Sometimes I think that's the only thing that's important, really, you know? It's just letting each other know we're here. Reminding each other that we're part of a larger self. Fear is going to be a player in your life. But you get to decide how much. You can spend your whole life imagining ghosts, worrying about the pathway to the future, but all there will ever be is what's happening. the decisions we make in this moment, which are based in either love or fear. So many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never dare to ask the universe for it. I'm saying I'm the proof that you can ask the universe for it. Effort makes the difference. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And I told you before, the thing I love about effort, there are other things, skills, right? You may have to go get a degree for that. There's some skills you gotta go get a degree. It could take you four years, eight years, 12 years. Some skills, it's like professional development. You gotta pay money, right? You gotta get a mentor, right? You, 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 you have to absorb some of your time, consume uh, 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 some of your time, right? My father could have been a great comedian, but he didn't believe that that was possible for him. And so he made a conservative choice. Instead, he got a safe job as an accountant. And when I was 12 years old, he was let go from that safe job. And our family had to do whatever we could to survive. I learned many great lessons from my father, not the least of which was that you can fail if you don't. When we talk about effort, it's infernal. Are you hearing me? When we talk about effort, guys, it's an easy fix. That's something that you can do. One of the best ways to go through life is, is to, to have a spirit of optimism and to be open to the possibilities. And I really rely greatly on, on St. Francis. Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things that I can, which is me, and the wisdom to know the difference. And when you approach life in that spirit of humility, it gives you power, creativity, and gratitude to make the change. How will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? That's all you have to figure out. As someone who's done what you're about to go and do, I can tell you from experience, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. Dream up a good life. So if you do 21 day commitment and you stop at 10, you're starting all over again. Starting all over again, guys. We're starting all over again. You'll come up with your own style. That's part of the fun. Why not take a chance on faith? 
We're going to start all over again. You, you made a commitment in terms of your diet. You made a commitment in terms of exercising. You made a commitment in terms of going back to school. You made a commitment about your marriage. You made a commitment as a father or as a mother. You made a commitment as a student or a child. Not hope, but faith. I don't believe in hope. Hope is a beggar. Hope walks through the fire and faith leaps over it. You made a commitment that 21 days straight, I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z, and you only made it to 19. You are going to start all over again. You are ready and able to do beautiful things in this world. And after you walk through those doors today, you will only ever have two choices, love or fear. You're gonna start all over again at 21. Now, it might take you four tries. Choose love and don't ever let fear turn you against your playful heart. After you get to 21, you're going to 30 days after that. Then after the 30, you're going to 60. Then after the 60, we're going to 90. And if you can get it, if you can do a thing for three straight months, if you can learn to discipline yourself, follow through on the process, don't rush the process. As far as I can tell, it's just about letting the universe know what you want and working toward it while letting go of how it comes to pass. It's not to figure out how it's gonna happen for you, but to open the door in your head and when the door opens in real life, just walk through it. Always doors opening. They keep opening. Yeah, feel me. Some of y'all trying to rush to 21 days. It takes 21 years to be 21 years old. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. So if you can do it for 30, 60, 90 straight days, then yeah, we can go to 365. Love yourself enough to be honest with yourself. Like for real, don't lie to yourself. In those 21 days, you're going to discover you. You're gonna discover some strengths. You're gonna discover some un undeveloped strengths. I don't like to use negative terms. Some things that you need to work on. Look, love yourself enough to be honest with yourself. Love yourself enough to get past all that stuff so you can finally get to your success. Love yourself enough to get over whatever you need to get over so you can live your dream. Love yourself enough to get beyond that addiction, to get be, be, beyond that thing that you struggle with, to get beyond that pain, to get beyond that fear, to get beyond all that stuff. Love yourself enough to be honest with yourself. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Please also like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and families. Please watch our other motivational videos. Thank you again.